I'm currently in a very messy hotel room in Anaheim, California, having finished attending the fifth annual VidCon. And as always, I'm exhausted and excited and happy and energized and I'm motivated, uh, but mostly just really, really tired. Nick from the Playgrounders was so nice to be able to drive me up and back down from the Hank Green concert, which featured Driftless Pony Club, Harry and the Potters, Andrew Huang, and we had a lot of time to talk because it's LA driving and that doesn't work for anyone. This idea crept into my mind about this tale of two VidCons and really how it is that the best of times and the worst of times. For me, VidCon is really what you decide to put into it. There is a bunch of different panels which are great so that you can go and acquire a bunch of this information that you're just desperately wanting to know or you can just go to the meetups and the Q&As and the signings and do all that kind of stuff to meet your favorite YouTube people. But there's also these great industry people that are giving you some really Really valuable information. However, I find myself going to less and less panels as time goes by. The first couple of VidCons I came to, it was chock full of like every single second was built up for myself. I'm like, I have to go to this one, and then to this one, and then to this one, back to the main stage, go to this one. But most of my time is spent either walking some of the convention floor, talking to people, you know, networking as they call it. I'm terrible at doing that, by the way. I'm a person who does stuff. You should watch me do things on the internet, please. That was me verbatim for about 20 different people. Uh, so there's that aspect of VidCon. The other aspect of VidCon is this, uh, what I'm going to term, celebrity, because I'm super lame. Uh, they, th this is where people are here just to see the giant YouTubers, or who they consider to be the giant YouTubers. And there's not a, that's not a good or bad thing in and of itself. It's okay to come here and say, I really want to meet Tyler Oakley. I really want to meet Troy Savon. I really want to meet Jack and Finn. I really want to meet Charlie is so cool. Like, because who doesn't? They're uh, some lovely people and they make some great content here on this website. But what happens is, and this is kind of this ev never ending conversation, you have the respectful fans and the not so respectful fans. And this year, uh, it was a very different feeling to the conference because there was even much more of that divide put into place. The hotels really cracked down on who could be in them. You could only come into the hotels if you had a room there. So people couldn't, um, although apparently it still happened in a couple of cases, but you shouldn't have been able to like wander the halls and just camp outside people's doors. This year I found much more of people just running after people and like trampling over top of people. And apparently, and this is a entirely third hand or second hand, well, let's say fourth hand information just because I don't know what I'm talking about. They had to cut off the line for Tyler Oakley signing and apparently the security guard got punched in the face because that is a rational response. So we have these two different VidCons going on. The part that is here for just the community aspect of meeting those new people, of seeing your old friends, of hanging out together, playing board games, uh, doing that kind of thing. And then there's the people here that just are here to meet some that, that one big YouTuber, those two big YouTubers, and scream and run and push and be obnoxious. As a complete side tangent, I do believe that there's a way to combat that. And it, it could very well be because Hank is not a very pretty British YouTuber that he's able to get away with this. But at his concert that I was at, there was a big swarm towards him as he came out after the show was finished. But he said, no, stop, do not run. That's gonna hurt people. Stay exactly where you are. I'm gonna to move to you. We're gonna form a line and we'll, I'll sign anything you want. I'll take pictures with you and we'll do this orderly. And I feel like there is that power for these creators. Getting back to my main point, there is this debate going on right now that the culture of YouTube has completely disappeared and there's no such thing as the YouTube community. And I don't know, I, I think that's complete bunk when it comes right down to it. Things have definitely changed. That's kind of the inevitable thing about humanity is that things always are going to change for us. And it's whether or not you want to adapt to that, uh, whether or not you're gonna ride that out or not. I think it's completely valid if you don't like the changes YouTube has made, but just know that community is still there. You can still find it here at VidCon. When you get to be part of that throbbing mass of humanity at a Watsky concert, or you meet some random people and go up to their hotel room and play board games, Games until one in the morning. That is community. That is something that is being built up at the very human level. This is not something that VidCon is doing for you. That is something that is coming naturally for you. And I think that that is the cool thing and why I continue to come back because there's always those moments every year that I'm like, I don't know what's going to happen this year. Maybe, maybe this will be my last year. And then something like that happens and like, no, 
You, you got me again. I want to give shout out to the people that I spent a lot of time with this weekend. Their links are going to be down in the description below, but you should go check out Playgrounders. 2.15 in the hallway, I say hello to you. Casey Conundrum. I think my lips will say, I'll have one more piece. Oh, Cullen. It's his business to know what you don't When all other great minds give up Sherlock Holmes You will not have a bad time. So I think that the community is still thriving here on YouTube. You just have to know where to go and look for those pockets of that community that still is alive and well. But what are your thoughts on that? Let me know down in the comments below about your this thoughts on VidCon, about your thoughts on YouTube community. Uh, you go, You go nuts talking about stuff down in the comments with your fingers and your keyboard or your nose if you like to type with your nose um, or if you don't have hands. Maybe there's no, non-hands people that watch this. Uh, my name is Kyle. I'll see you all again next Thursday. I have to get cleaning up here. There is just a lot of drugs and hookers I have to clean up. <laughs>